of this uh, of this feeder, uh, and you'll observe that, that in the background we, we have a, a strip of ground which is quite clearly not being cultivated. Um, this is something that we have quite a lot of around here at Loddington. It's, uh, it's a something left from a bygone era in effect, which is when uh, the European Commission brought in uh, compulsory set-aside for farmers, and uh, yeah, each farmer was required to leave a certain percentage of, uh, of his land uncropped. Um, and rather than just leave that as bare land, as, as part of the management which Chris talked about earlier, we made a conscious decision to, to use these strips to benefit wildlife. Uh, in this instance, you have a benefit of joining two pieces of habitat, for instance. So we've got a small ash belt behind and a new wood at the top, and this provides a linkage between the two. And secondly, you can see we've got a range of plants growing on this strip. Uh, Teasel's been the most obvious at this stage. And these naturally provide some insects and some habitat, some nesting sites, and also, hopefully, uh, some winter feed. One of the things that we've learnt about uh, these strips is that the best plants to produce seed on them tend to be plants that man has developed as crop plants. Now, these are ones which produce big yields, which is why we, mankind, grow them. That they fill our barns. But that also means they're very good for birds, and birds have learnt to adapt to our crop plants and feed from them. But what we know about crop plants is we have bred them to develop, to uh, yield in response to the way we manage them. In other words, we've devised cultivation methods, we've developed pesticides to protect them against pest diseases and weeds, and we've found ways of feeding them by giving them fertiliser. And so there is a perception amongst some people that these areas which are natural should be managed in a natural way, and that means not giving them pesticides and fertilisers. The problem with that is, in that situation, the, uh, the plants do not respond. They don't compete very well with weeds and they don't produce a great deal of yield. 